MMAreport.com here at Bellator 86 as we are now here with the welterweight champion Ben Funky Askren defends his title against Carl Amasu on Thursday night. First off, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Uh, just got down here last night and got some weight to cut, but everything's good. How much uh, weight do you have to lose? Uh, probably about 12 pounds, 11 pounds. Now, there's been a lot of talk between you and Carl. Uh, I talked to Carl, you know, months ago. He, he calls you to lay in prayer, and we, and we you know what the fans think of you. Of course. Um, you know, and I happened to be talking to Ben Saunders a little earlier, and he was saying that he thinks you get a bad rap because when you're on the ground, it's not like you're just laying there. You're constantly passing, trying to do other things. Do you think fans just don't quite understand what you're doing when you're on the ground? A little bit. Yeah, fans definitely don't understand the intricacies of wrestling and jiu-jitsu, but... You know, come Thursday night, the only thing I'm going to be laying and praying is Carl's going to be laying on his back praying I stop hitting him in his face. What do you think when he came out, he was on Arrow Hole on his show, and said that, you know, he wants to put you on your back? I mean, what was your first initial reaction when you heard that? Oh, I don't even listen to Arrow's show. He's, a, he's ridiculous. So, you know, he banned me, so I banned him from my ears. Uh, I don't listen to Arrow at all. I don't know what he said. I didn't even hear that Carl said that. But, uh... You know, he might get lucky and land a throw, but the thought that he could put me on my back and keep me there is just asinine. Now, fans have not seen you since May. You know, what, what type of improvement should fans be able to see on Thursday night from, you know, last time you fought to now? I've improved a lot. I didn't really take any time off. I did a few wrestling camps in the summer, uh, but that was really it. Spent some time traveling over to the ball of MMA in Singapore, but just training all the time at the gym, getting a lot better. Obviously, we have the best striking coaches in the country, in my opinion. So totally improved in all areas. What were you working on in Singapore? Uh, I just went over there, they had me teach some wrestling over there and you know they got some, they have like Hall of Fame Muay Thai guys over there and so got to work with some of those guys, it was, it was a lot of fun. Now, you know, going back to your opponent, when he won the tournament, you know, not a lot of tape there. I mean, what do you see out of him? I mean, you know, he, he can win by submission, he can win by TK. What do you see out of his game that he does really well and maybe some things you think he doesn't do well? I think the only thing he does really well is be aggressive, and he, he's definitely aggressive, no doubt about that, but, uh, you know, I think his, his judo is decent, his jiu-jitsu is average at best, his striking is rudimentary, so, uh, you know, I don't think he brings a whole lot to the table. You know, he, he believes that, you know, he can win this fight very quickly, you know, you, you have, obviously, you think that cannot happen, I mean, what would you say to him that, that he thinks he can beat you, say, in 90 seconds? I mean, he knows his only hope, his only one glimmer of hope is coming in and landing a quick punch. But, you know, besides that, that's it. He knows he's got no other chance of winning. And, uh, you know, he knows that chance of winning is very small. Now, of course, one of your teammates, Alan Belcher, we, we've seen the videos, all the pranks. You know, has he gotten you back yet for the incident that happened when he was in bed? Well, you know, he started it. So that was just me getting him back. So... Um, you know, I don't know really who's going to make the next move, but we'll see. What does he mean for you in training camp, being able to, to train with him and, and how he makes you better? Yeah, Alan's a, you know, a great friend. I've been helping him since, oh gosh, I think it was probably 07 or something. So it's, it's been quite a while, and obviously we don't live in the same place because he lives in Biloxi where his gym is in Mississippi, but he comes up for all his training camps, and I've visited with him and his family. So uh, definitely a really good friend. And uh, a great training partner because he's probably one of the top 10 guys in the world at 185. I know he just had a, a setback against Okami, which, you know, was a fight we definitely thought he was going to win, but, he, you know, he came out on the wrong end up. But it's just good to have people like that challenging you. And, you know, we have that all over the gym. We have Alan, and I got Anthony Bologna, who's, I think he's top six at 155. And I got Pascal Krause, who's another UFC guy at 170. So you really need guys in the gym to push you to make you that. And that's what makes you confident, really, is that you say, okay, well, I go with these guys, and they're the best in the world. And... Uh, you know, if I can go with them, I can go with anybody. How excited are you to fight on Spike TV on Thursday night? I'm pumped to fight. Just uh, been waiting for a long time now, so I'm ready to, ready to get it on. Now, of course, I was reading up that you're a disc golf player. Yeah. Explain to me what disc golf is. I, I've, I've heard people talk about this, but I have no idea what it is. Yeah, disc golf is like a, a disc is like a smaller, more dense frisbee, and there's a tee box and a basket, and you get to try to go from the tee box to the basket in as few as attempts as possible. So there's none around here, actually, unfortunately, because, you know, it's cold in Wisconsin, so I'd like to get out and play, but, uh, you know, it's at least half an hour or more to the nearest place. How often do you play? Uh, when it's warm, every single day. How do you see things going down on Thursday night? Uh, it's going to be a beatdown. Ben, appreciate the time. All right, thanks a lot.